Hello, kindergarten and first grade friends. My name is Mrs. Walters. Welcome back to art. This week, we are going to be learning how to draw a mitten to keep our hands nice and warm during the winter. Now, before you watch this video, make sure you read the book, The Mitten. It's back in the other page. And right now, I'm going to show you how to draw a mitten. It's really easy. Let's look first at a picture of a real mitten. A mitten has a big round area where you put your four fingers and then a little compartment for your thumb and then a little spot to put your hand in down below. So let's see what shapes we can see. We can see this rounded top could be the top of a circle and maybe this thumb part could be an oval shape and then maybe this part down below where our wrist goes could be a square. Let's put all of those shapes together and see what we can make. Now to draw your mitten, I recommend that you have a piece of paper and a pencil and an eraser because we are going to erase some of our lines. This week, just like last week, I'm gonna use my smart board and my smart board pen but you can use your supplies, uh, like your pencil and your paper, instead. Now, remember, we said we we're going to start with a square for the bow. Let's turn on the pen. There we go. We said we we're going to start with a square because the bottom of the mitten is sort of a square shape. And then does anyone remember what that top of the mitten was? That top, that rounded part, it was a circle. Only the top was rounded though, so we don't wanna put the circle on top of the square. We'll have some empty spots. So I just wanna put my circle inside like that. We are going to erase some of those lines. So if it looks a little weird right now, that's okay. So that's where my four fingers are gonna go. And I need a spot for my for my thumb. So does anyone remember what shape we said that thumb compartment was? It starts with an O. Oval. So I'm going to put my oval overlapping again right there. All right. Does that kind of look like a mitten to you guys? A little bit? What if we erase some of those lines that are overlapping on the inside? Watch what I do. I'm going to use my eraser part. If you don't, you're not going to have this pen. You're going to have your own pencil. But you can use the eraser on your pencil to do this too with your, with your pencil up. I'm just going to erase all the lines that are inside the mitten. All the lines that overlap because we don't really want them there. What about now? Does it look like a mitten? Yes, it looks like a mitten, okay? Now, for this project, you really only have to draw one, but if you wanted to draw a second mitten, a pair of mittens, you could. So I'm gonna show you how I would draw a pair. So this would be for my right hand, and I'm going to do this one for my left hand. I put them kind of backwards. That's okay. I'm going to start out with my square again. I'm going to put my circle inside that little square area. But this time, I'm going to put my thumb on the other side, right? Because when we wear mittens, um, our thumbs are going to be on different sides. So this time, I'm going to put my oval for the thumb over here on this side. And now I'm gonna take my eraser again and erase on the inside so all of those lines I don't need go away and all I have is the outline of my mitten. There we go, I have two mittens. 
Like I said, I accidentally switched them, so they're they're backwards, but I have two, okay? You don't have to do two. If you wanna just do one, you can just do one. After you have drawn your mitten or mittens, you are going to design them. Remember the picture that we looked at just a second ago, our mittens have a color and a design. They're blue and orange and white and cream, and they have a, a snowflake design. And you see lots of different repeating shapes and patterns and lines. Earlier, we did talk about patterns. It was a few weeks ago. So if you need a refresher on what a pattern looks like or what a pattern is, go back to the page and look for the little sheet with the video um, about patterns. There's also a little sheet about color. So if you wanna pick out your colors, um, it's in the same page. And you're gonna design your mittens however you want, okay? If you want rainbow mittens, you could have rainbow mittens. If you wanna have stars on your mittens, you can have stars on your mittens, polka dot mittens, whatever you want. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna design mine and then I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Okay, while you're pause, while I'm pausing, you can go back and watch the pattern video if you forgot and you need a refresher. All right, so I have my two mittens. I have one mitten that is red with green polka dots and one mitten that is green with red stripes. So see in each mitten I have different colors and different patterns. So I encourage you to be creative um, come up with some, a really cool pattern and design for your mitten. Use lots of different colors because colors are fun um, and just have fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this art activity. Remember to post a photo, take a photo, and post a photo of your artwork of your mittens that you drew in our discussion. Okay, It's at the bottom of the week page. All right. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you all next week. Bye.